How are we doing, guys? And it's finished Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2. Honestly, don't know what to make of that. I honestly do not know what to make of that game. <sighs> Trying to speak about it so soon after the game is always difficult. And do you look at it as two points dropped? Do you look at it as two points, uh, not two points. Do you look at it as two points dropped or one point gained or <sighs> two nil ahead? Um, try and break it down. Um, opening 40 minutes, we were sensational. Um, complete and utter domination. Um, game should have been over. Out of sight. We were playing superb. We were fluid. The intensity, just absolutely everything was amazing. Um, and like I said, scored two really good goals. Um, very, very comfortable. Um, and then five minutes before half time, there was a little incident. Trent Alexander Arnold and Shaka. I actually don't think Shaka's done, you know, an awful lot, to be quite honest with you. Um, Trent's reacted, got the fans up. They go down the other end, score a goal. And then the whole entire momentum shifted and it just kind of moved differently. Um, and then they had a little chance just before half time. And then you go in at half time and you're thinking, OK, we got in at half time, 2 1 ahead. We'll come out and play the same way that we were in that first 40. Don't panic. And there's more goals in this game. And we didn't do that. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know whether we looked a little tired. I don't know why we should be looking tired when we're having so much rest. The whole idea of us, you know, you know, being happy about not being in the Europa League and everything is so that we can concentrate on the Premier League and we've got freshness. But they're just, it's, it's just a little something weren't right. I don't know whether it was just a mental thing. It was just, uh, you know, fatigued in the mind. Um, and then Liverpool go and get themselves a penalty. Rob Holding, stupid, stupid challenge. Clear as day a penalty. Um, Mo Salah misses. Um, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe it is written. Maybe we have got this opportunity. And then, you know, the game kind of went through a little period of about 15, 20 minutes where there wasn't really a lot going on. The crowd had got quiet again and... You know, we seem to, you know, suffocate that that fret. And, um, yeah, we had a couple of moments where we broke um, Robertson scrambling to stop Saka at one point and it just didn't fall. Um, and then, you know, Firmino comes on and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, here we go, Firmino comes on. It's just obvious, isn't it? Nunes had an opportunity. Liverpool were piling on the pressure. Um, Sinchenko gets absolutely done um, by Trent Alexander-Arnold, nutmegged, back post, and there he is to score. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, so close, so close to the 90th minute. Um, and at that point, you're thinking to yourself, just get out of here with a point. Just get out of here with a point. Um, because when you look at it now, six points clear. Uh, Man City have a game in hand and they do have to play us. So let's say they win their game in hand and let's say they beat us at the Etihad. We're both level on points and then it goes down to goal difference. And, um, you know, I think they're five ahead of us at the moment in terms of goals. Um, and I think this gives us a clear path in a way that we've got two games coming up. Southampton, West Ham, West Ham being the first one, where we need to go all out. We need goals and we need to be bagging four or five goals in each of those games um, to try and claw back those five goals and to try and get ahead of Manchester City um, because they've got some tough games coming up as well on the back of, you know, Champions League matches, FA Cup semi-final. Um, you've got to remember as well that we're actually playing twice more uh, before we play Manchester City. Um, Man City have only got one more game to play before they play us because when we play Southampton... Um, they've got the FA Cup semi, yeah, semi-final that weekend. Um, so they haven't got a Premier League game. So whatever happens, we will be going to the Etihad top of the table. Um, so, yeah, psychologically, how will that work? What will it do? Um, but yeah, we go to the very, very last part of the game. We get into injury time. Um, and then Aaron Ramsdale makes this save from Mo Salah. Because of the deflection, what's at stake? 
the minute it was, that is up there with one of the best saves of the season. How important will that save be? We'll find out at the end of the season because if we win the league, we'll look back on those saves from Aaron Ramsdale and they could have won us the Premier League title. It's that big a save. Um, but then that wasn't the end of the action. Literally 20 seconds or so to go, 30 seconds. Liverpool get the ball in the box. I think it was Nunes headed it back across. Canate um, was there free, tapping. And Ramsdale was saved again. Like, unreal. And then this is something that's going to absolutely haunt me now, right? Is that we broke from that moment. And I think it was three against one. And it was Martinelli that had the ball on the left and he took too long to pass it anyway. And Saka is clean through, one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. It's a simple pass into him. And you literally can win the game with the last kick. It would have been absolute carnage. And I don't know how he's got it wrong, but he's got it wrong. And he's overhit the pass and Alisson's come out. That could be a big moment as well. Because despite Liverpool and everything that they did in the second half and the fact that they could have gone on and won that game, we could have nicked it with that moment. And um, I think that we've only got ourselves to blame in some respects. I don't know why we went defensive in the second half. I don't know what was you know sent to them instructions-wise at half-time, whether you know, they played within themselves. I don't know. I really don't. It's such a hard one to digest. It was such a, an, a mad game. If you're neutral and not supporting either of these sides and your heart isn't feeling that, then, yeah, that's the kind of game that you love. And that's why we love the Premier League. But crazy, just crazy. And it's, it, it is a difficult one. Like I said, it's, I'm kind of leaning more towards a point gained ending that, you know, problem at Anfield. And, you know, you've got to remember Man City have gone there and lost and Man United got slapped 7-0. And um, despite Liverpool's poor, you know, form this season, they're always difficult to beat at Anfield. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, OK, that's a point gained given the context of how many chances Liverpool had in that second half and the missed penalty and everything else. And then there's that other part, yeah, where you're like, oh, it's two points dropped because you're two nil ahead and you should have seen it out and should have actually gone on to get 3-4 or whatever. But... Oh, title races are not easy. Um, so, yeah, if you're a Spurs fan watching this, um, yeah, you might as well turn off now because you don't know what it's like to be in a title race. But, um, yeah, wow. I don't know how much more my heart can take of it, but it is what it is. We take the point. We move. West Ham next. We've got to regroup and recover. Um, and then we go again. Um, big game against West Ham. Um, very fragile. Not great at home. The crowd can easily turn against them and we need to go there and we need to put a big performance in. And then Southampton at home. And again, we need to turn up and put a big, big performance in. So we will see what happens. So listen, there we go. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think about the performance today. Um, point gained or two dropped? Let me know. Um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.